all of us to this service. It's been a wonderful, wonderful service. We thank God for all of you. And we want to remember, there were some, some two uh, families. Uh, jana kuna familia uh, wazazi wawili abao hawakuweza kufanyiwa charging. Na wale watoto tunafuta kuwafanyia charging in the next ten, uh, five minutes. Tafadhali waje hapa bele kama wako ili tuweza kufanya charging immediately tukimaliza uh, tukiedelea. Kwa hivyo na uh, as we start and as we face the cross of Christ, let us uh, confess our, our faith in the, in the words of the Apostles' Creed at page 63 in our prayer books. He rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to the living and the dead. The communion of saints. Amen. Uh, may I ask if that family is there? The Father is there. Is that family, those, those families here? Kama wako, waje bele, kama hawako, tutahedelea. Uh, they are not there. Then uh, we now invite our Sunday school, tafadhali joni, ili tuweze kuwa, 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 kuwa obea, tugaji atawa obea, then you'll be released to go to your classes. Nitaigia langola kena sifa moyoni Nitaigia kwa shangwe ku Nitasema so much. Uh, come closer, come closer. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Once again, dear loving Father, when your dear son Jesus Christ entered Jerusalem, it is little children who sang Hosanna, Hosanna, and indeed, even when the adults could not understand what was happening, you had revealed your kingdom to infants and babies. We are so grateful for this, our children. We are so grateful for all the Sunday school teachers. We are so grateful for all the parents and grandparents represented here. And now, we dedicate and commit this beautiful sons and daughters unto thy able hands, the Lord your blessings shall be upon each and every one of them, even as they go to their classes, their knowledge, the fear of the Lord, their understanding, and all the godly tenants that will be instilled in these young minds. All this wisdom shall have praise in this children's life. We commit them unto the able hands, even as we ask of your blessings upon all of them, and those who are in boarding schools, those who could not make it today to the church, even as they prepare to come home after one big term, as they come for their holiday, Lord God, them that will be traveling, we ask of your journey mercies. Be with this, our children, and the programs the children's ministry has for the uh, April holiday. Every item of the program we commit unto the able hands. We ask of your blessings with a lot of humility through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.
Thank you so much. God bless you. Even as you go to your classes. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. merciful to us, our Father in heaven, Lord show us your constant love, Lord save our president. Lord, may your ministers be clothed with righteousness. Save your people, Lord. Give peace in our time, Lord. Create pure hearts in us, God. Have the prayer for the day. Today, today is Palm Sunday. Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna, Hosanna to the king of kings who for our sake and our salvation was content to be betrayed by sinners, willingly offering himself as the living bread. Grant that we shall follow you truly, sincerely and selflessly, as you taught us through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you. We'll ask our sister Lois to lead us in a short intercessory prayer. Uh, Ana baraka wale waomba o Ana baraka wale waomba Ana baraka wale waomba Na Yesu mwenyewe alisema Let us believe as we pray our Father and our God, we want, we want to thank you for this particular moment. Thank you, Father, for giving us a chance to be here, Lord, to listen unto you, my God and my Father. We are here, Lord, with our empty hearts and the desires of each and every person, God. We humble, you, we humble before you, Father, that you have mercy on us, as sinners, God, each and every time. We desire to do what is right in your sight, but Father, because of our emptiness because of our desires of this world, Father, you find running short of your glory. Father, this morning you sincerely and humbly confess our sins to you, that Father, you accept us the way you are. Holy Jesus Christ, through the Godhead of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I ask you kindly to continue leading us as this, we remember the, the Palm Sunday into our life, let your love be portrayed in our lives so that God, our conscience may continue to be strong through your name, through your word, and through the scriptures of today. Father, we confess our sins and we humbly look after you, before you, that God, today let us go home filled with your Holy Spirit, filled with your uh, love, filled with the joy through the word of today. In Jesus' name, I trust, praying, and believing. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Now, we request that we have our two readings. Uh, following each other. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise God. Our first reading is drawn from the book of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9 to 15, to 13. 
the book of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9 to 15. If we are together, let's read. The coming of Zion's king. Rejoice greatly, daughter, of Z- daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a coat, the fall of a donkey. I will take away the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow will be broken. He will proclaim peace to the nation. His rule will extend from the sea to sea and from the river to the head of the earth. As for you, because of the blood of covenant with you, I will free you from I will free you, your prisoners, from the waterless pit. Return to your fortress, return your, your prisoners of hope. Even now I announce that I will twice, I will, I will restore twice as much to you. I will bed Judah as I bed my bow, and, I will, and fit it with Ephraim. I will louse your sons, Zion against your sons, Greece, and make you like warriors sword. Now the word of the Lord. Our second reading is taken from the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, from verse 1 to 14. Colossians chapter 3, from verse 1 to 14. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of this, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as this, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And and over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. This is the word of God. Thank you so much. We have a gentleman who wants to give thanks to God, please come forward as the, those who are outside uh, come in. Uh, Tafadali Joe, this is your time. We cannot uh, lock out a person who wants to come and say thank you to God.
First of all, let me thank God for this opportunity. Second, I thank the area dean for this opportunity given unto me. Uh, I'm here to thank God. Uh, previously, we had a career Sunday, and we were called here, those who are not having a job, those who are starting a job. And I thank God I have managed to start my own job. Uh, I have started a phone repair and phone accessories, uh, the stage next to Super Metro's office. So in case you have a problem with your phone, anything needed according to the phones, so you can visit me across there. Thank you all for your support, and God bless you. Tuta support Peter, sidio? Eh, tuta support Peter. Kwa hivyo, atashika hii kikapu, tafadhali tuje. When we pray and God answers prayer, that is the best, uh, the, the, the best uh, you can, the, the, the best uh, sermon you can give. The best sermon ni wakati mugu wa mejibu maobi. Eto ngano kike ya kwa na baba Tuireshi gege tashiro Aune oliti wakwa waimi we thank God with him. A believing God, we are always directed to see one of your flock coming back after receiving blessings from this altar, coming to say thank you because of the many things that you have done in their lives. We join this your servant, Peter, because of that business that he has started, whereby he is repairing phones, he is also selling phone accessories, and being a new business, he felt he has to come to the altar to, ded to dedicate the same unto you, Lord. As your humble servants, we cover that business with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We ask, Lord, for customers from all sides that, Lord, he uh, uh, will be a solution to many. And uh, that, Lord, you are, you are going to grow that business from wherever it is. Your word says we should not despise a humble beginning. And because he has not despised the same, this beginning, he has dedicated it unto thy able hands. I ask for your divine breakthrough upon his life. Then that who are having lepers, one of them who came back, he was, not, he was not only healed, but he was made whole again. How we pray, even for other areas of Koigi's life, 
We pray for his youthfulness. We pray for his parents. We pray for the siblings. We pray even for the spouse. We pray even for his spiritual rights and everything that pertains to him, that you will come and bless him in a special way. We bless him now and bless this business and also appreciate the Christians who have joined him in that giving. And this is our humble prayer of faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. You can give us your number so that uh, people can join you. Uh, please give us your number, the phone number, so that it, it can be, yes. Koyi's number. Yes, Asante Sana, thank you so much. It's always good to come and say thank you to God when he has answered prayer. And I think that's a very good uh, way of worshiping God. Now, I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of us who have joined us in this service. Uh, some of us managed to walk, others did not manage, but we thank God for all of us. We are saying with the Dean, if by God's grace we are here next year, we shall want to do a different service. Do the whole service of Palm Sunday outside, like the Catholics, to Kurudi Kanisani. Because where we were, it was very exciting for those who are with us. When you are praying for those people who don't come to church, you are telling us them about Christ, you are doing the Great Commission, isn't it? So we thank God for all of you. And now I don't know whether we have a visitor in our midst. Are you there and you are visiting? Yes. Sumpigia Makofi, Asante Sana. And somebody allow her to tell us her name. She's only one. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My name is Elizabeth Jenga. I come from Karura Kanyongo. I'm excited to be here to worship the Lord together with you. I am here courtesy of our priest's invitation and uh, through the phone. Uh, let me get up to there, but later on, I'll share more. Thank you so much. Santi sana. So, uh, karibu sana. Uh, we thank God for you. So, for the rest of us, to now karibisha sana, uh, feel you are most welcome. My request, my brother John, uh, to give us very brief notices so that we can now get into the ministry of the word. Good morning, church. God is good, and all the time, just so I'll bring uh, a few notices uh, here. First, uh, this concerns uh, the collective prayer prayers, uh, which are supposed to end uh, uh, this Lent season. We are supposed to go to Manasseh uh, Prayer Center, uh, Manasseh, uh, Bishop Manasseh uh, Prayer Center, and we are supposed to register with 200 shillings. And then we are, requ we are requested to carry 150 shillings. And it is good to note that the church will cater for the transport. This will happen on uh, 26th March uh, 2024. So kindly remember that we are supposed to register with 200 shillings uh, before that so that the church may be able to do the logistics. Uh, we have a notice here, a uh, death notice, and I'll read it as it is. We regret to announce, uh, to inform you of the passing on of Elder Francis Minor, of Kar uh, Karadi Old Jabet, brother to, me, to Mrs. Lea Wakafa. He passed on on Saturday morning, 23rd March, 2024, due to illness, bravery, born at Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital. They are having prayers at Mrs. Lea Wakafa's residence on Saturday, 24th March, 2024, for prayers and funeral support. Yours, Reverend David Wakafa. Uh, we have a notice from Townsell. Townsell, uh, Townsell members are requested to meet at the Bangaro immediately after the English service. Council members to meet at the Bagaro uh, immediately after the English service. The basic cell members are supposed to meet after the service so that they can proceed to Mr. and Mrs. Bogo's home 
for their monthly fellowship. That's a basic cell. They're supposed to meet immediately after the service so that they can proceed together at Mr. and Mrs. Bogo's home where their fellowship is. We also informed that the fellowship for Bethsaida subcell at Mr. Macquarie's home has been postponed uh, so as to join the Raja Magoko cell at Rea Wakafa's home and console with the family. Kid Farmer Cosell uh, members are requested to meet at the parking lot after the English service. Kid Farmer members are requested to meet at the parking lot after the English service. From the Mother's Union desk, uh, we will be having our dinary stroke at Deaconry Fellowship on Wednesday, the 27th, here at our church as from 10 a.m. Uh, mothers, union, uh, mothers, you're supposed, or you are requested to avail yourselves. Mothers Union Desk, we will be having our dinner stroke at Deacon Fellowship on Wednesday the 27th here at our church as from 10 a.m. And mothers are requested to avail themselves. Uh, the Holy Week activities are as follows. Uh, on Tuesday, We'll have a dinner mission uh, at Downview Church. We request every cell to send at least five representatives. On Thursday, we have the Monday Thursday service from 5 p.m. Uh, here in the church. On Friday, this will be, uh, we will have a Good Friday service from 9 uh, a.m. Uh, this will be three hours in the presence of God. Uh, oh, sorry. On Friday, we, we have uh, a service from 9 a.m. And we also have three hours in God's presence experience from 6 uh, p.m. to 9 p.m. Kindly notice note those two uh, services. First is the ordinary Good Friday service from 9 a.m. in the morning. And then we'll have three hours in the presence, uh, in God's presence experience from 6 p.m. in the evening to 9 p.m. On Saturday, uh, we'll have a diocesan prayer rally at Bishop Manasseh's Courier uh, Prayer Center at Salama from 8, uh, from 8 a.m. And departure time is supposed to be 6 a.m. And the church will support the transport of at least 30 people. On Sunday, we will have the Easter Sunday. And still, the same Sunday, we will have infants' uh, baptism. And so, uh, uh, the children who, uh, their service was done yesterday, the chatting service, are supposed to be uh, baptized on that Sunday. Um, on that Sunday. It's also going to be a seed planting day. So, that Sunday, we'll have an Easter, Easter Sunday service infant baptism, and still it will be a seed planting day. And I remember our evangelist talked about the seed planting uh, here the other day. We also informed that the catechism classes uh, uh, continue today after the English service. Those are the notices we had uh, for today. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, uh, John, for the, the notices, just to clarify that uh, the Saturday prayers, uh, the church is catering for the first 30 people to register. The registration deadline is Tuesday 26th, and that you do with your cell leaders who will forward the name uh, to the office so that we know who we are catering for. Kindly do this. You don't, don't rush the last minute because you'll be disappointed. We also have uh, a, thanks, a thank you card. Um, this one is coming from the Mago family. It's wonderful to know people whose concern and helpfulness provide strength. I'm so glad to know that you're one of them. Thank you and God be with you. This is from the Mago family. We continue to put to keep those uh, that family in your prayers. You know, we left the, 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 this lady left very, very young, uh, vulnerable children, and we want to pray that God will remember them. We want to hear the word of God, and it will be brought to us by our area dean. And in order to welcome him, choir, I want you to come and make a presentation. 
Uh, I know you have walked, but I know you are not tired. So karibuni. Thank you.
Thank you so much choir. Thank you Muno. Hosana hosana ya niro nesiana. Hosana hosana kora di mone olea. Oga kana le tware amwadani. E kyo to amwale ra make no jiraine. I'm excited to see all of you. Thank you my too baby. Uh, my Tobezi has been unwell, uh, and when I saw her, I was very, very excited, very, very excited. Uh, I'm excited to see all of you and to see the great desire and need outside there. As uh, the church warden is saying, God willing, next Palm Sunday, actually will not, back, will not come back to the church. Uh, we'll sit down and make very elaborate plans with the uh, mission team, the church elders and the finance committee, whereby we will uh, feed the families who are there out. We will contact uh, people who uh, do chapatis, uh, so that we can have like 10 bills of chapati. We'll contact them. Then after we go the way of the cross, uh, the, the, the seven points of the way of the cross during the Palm Sunday, we'll have a very big convention, uh, either at uh, Kikuyu Township or somewhere. Now we will have a big convention. We preach the word of God. And then, uh, the way I give you Holy Communion, everybody who will have come for that service, even if they are 2,000, I will give them a chapati. Uh, the, 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 uh, people who does a street chapati, to unga. even if we spend 100 or 200,000, there is a big need there outside. We are very excited to see them. They were not even willing to let us go uh, because there is that urge. Kwe na nyota mune ne muno nina wajiru waki goke ya gai. Ado ni ya nyotu muno muno nyodo waki goke ya gai. And we really want to thank God for you. Uh, thank you Elizabeth for coming. We have not met. Uh, Elizabeth told me she is uh, supporting needy children and she has uh, an institution whereby she is supporting uh, needy children. Uh, I know at the end of this service, I'll give you a moment so that you can tell us a little bit about that, but we are happy that you came. Uh, that is your daughter or something? Ah, wow, thank you so much. Karibuni sana. I know. Amen. <laughs> thank you so much. Let us pray. Ever living God, we are excited to be in your presence this morning. Uh, when we are meditating upon your coming into our lives in a big way, thank you because of these Christians who decided to come into this sanctuary. We connected with them who are not able to come today, and there are very many, very many. This is just a small percentage of the community around here in Kikuyu, and another percentage which is watching us through the media, the social media, the YouTube, the Facebook, and the uh, other, uh, other forums, all of them we commit unto the able hands. Even now, as you speak to us through me, we invite you so that, Lord, as we continue to be closer to you, we shall come out of this place a blessed people. Thank you for everything. We wait upon you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. I am well. Jesus is Lord in my soul. We will continue with the theme of the month, uh, whereby we are saying this month we are settling as the resurrection of Jesus Christ. As uh, Kamau has done the notices, the week will be very busy. We'll start with the mission and evangelism on Tuesday. 
and uh, we will wind up on Sunday when we will baptize uh, infants and also celebrate Holy Communion uh, during Easter Sunday. And uh, as we settle in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, I want to bring the word of God in a way whereby the king that we are welcoming, we will ask ourselves, we, uh, what kind of a king are we welcoming? In the book of Zechariah, chapter 9 from verse 9 uh, through verse 14, the reading is talking about a king who is coming in a very unexpected way. You all know the Israelites, and especially the Jews, were expecting a king who was to redeem them from the Roman kingdom because they have been actually uh, empowered. They have been uh, taken captives by the Roman kingdom and uh, for a very long time, they had waited for a king who will redeem them. And between the Old Testament and the New Testament, there were 400 years of silence. Uh, when you look at the Bible, when you look at your Bible, the last book of the Bible is Marakai, and the uh, first book of the New Testament is, uh, is Matthew. Between Marakai and Matthew, there is a, a, a difference of 400 years, whereby there was no prophet, there were no priests, there were, actually, there was total silence. There was no liberation. And may I pause there and ask you, do you feel at times like God is not uh, talking in your life? Have you ever reached a place you feel, I cannot, I ca I cannot find God? On Friday, when we were having Janet's funeral, uh, I was reading in Job chapter 23. And Job chapter 23, verse 8, Job was saying, I'm looking for God from the left side, I cannot find him. I'm looking for him from the other side, I cannot find him. There are times in our lives when things are so weak, so weak, when you check, it's like you cannot find God. And this is exactly what was happening during biblical times. The Israelites, for 400 years, they, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the God they believed in, the power of salvation they were waiting upon was not found anywhere. But just by the uh, clock of the, of, of the time, God himself now sent the Messiah. And this Messiah was born as a baby. He was just an infant. But now, today, marks the beginning of coming of a king. The Israelites, the Jews, were expecting a king who will come with soldiers, a king who will come with an army, a king who will come with bomb and guns, a king who will come with that kind of power. But unfortunately, this king came with a donkey, uh, very humble. In fact, instead of Kukagua uh, Gorida Heshima, the god of honor, infants and babies and children are the ones who welcomed him. And when they welcomed him, they sang, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. And when Jesus came, he brought a different story. And this is where I am starting. And the different story is, this king has come to redeem us from our sins. This king has come to save us from the sins that entangle us in so many ways. Let me uh, just give you something you know. Uh, the seven sins of the, uh, seven social sins of the Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, you all know him. He was an Indian guru. And uh, he died over 100 years ago, 99 years ago. 
because around 1925, he recorded the seven scenes of the world, the, the world that time. And uh, he said, the first scene in God's time was work, was wealth without work. Utajiri bila kazi, wealth without work. Let me pose this to you. Do we still have people who want to be wealthy and they don't want to work? Yes, even it used to happen 99 years ago, during Gadi's time. And he called them the social evil of his time. He wrote this to his grandson and uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was forwarded to him while he was in jail and uh, he was also assassinated. He said, wealth without work is a social evil. He also talked about pressure without conscience. Let me pose to you also. Do we have people who want to have pressure and their conscience is dead in Kenya? Not only in Kenya, in Kikuyu, around Kikuyu town. Not only even in Kikuyu town, even in this church, people who would want to have pressure without conscience. Are they there or are they not there? They are there. They used to be there 99 years ago during this time. Pressure without conscience. He also said, during his time, a evil he saw, a sin he saw, was knowledge without character. Look at me. Each and every one of you know somebody who is very educated. Very educated. They could be holding master's degree. They could be having PhDs. Very educated. Knowledge. Have power kosawa. But those people do not have character. And they say, when you lose wealth, you lose nothing. When you lose health, you lose something. But when you lose character, character, you lose everything. During this time, there were people with knowledge, but they did never had character. They are also present today in our age. Gavi called this a big social scene. There was also a bigger scene which they called commerce without morality. Business without uh, any moral uh, power, any moral considerations. Whereby you see people engaging in businesses but as long as they are getting money, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what will happen to those other uh, customers. And it used to happen during Gavi's time. People engaging in businesses, people engaging in commerce, but there was no morality. Then he talked about science without humanity. He talked about science without humanity, whereby people, through uh, uh, science and uh, world knowledge, they can just do anything, anything, without the consideration of humanity. It has happened. Viruses have been sent. Germs have been spread. Issues which are affecting communities today, rights have been claimed because as people continue in their laboratories, doing their investigation in science world, humanity has been set aside. The evil was there 100 years ago. The sin is still present today in our age. Gansi also talked about politics without principle. Now here, we all know the Kenya too. Politicians, actually, there is no permanent in politics, there is no permanent enemy or permanent friends. It's only permanent interest. Actually, the politicians in the house, Gavi talked about politics without principle. People are not following any political conviction because of the manifestos and the issues that can be beneficial to the mass and the people. Gavi called that politics without principle. And, uh, the final one, he talked about religion without sacrifice. People who want uh, to believe in a certain deity, 
a certain God. And, and uh, that's why we have so many cuts, so many cuts, uh, whereby you all know, uh, you have heard about Reggio Mario. These are cuts. Uh, those of my age, you remember we had Akasa. You, you also know uh, recently we had Jehovah Wanyoni. Uh, and somebody else who was even calling him Yesu Watengaron. And uh, during Easter, he was told, if you are the real Yesu, and now this is Easter, we are going to crucify you. Remember what happened. He disappeared mysteriously. Uh, this is religion without a sacrifice. And they are there. They are there. People following blindly. People in Shaka horror and other places. He talked about these uh, social evils, social sins, which were there then. Today, I want to talk about seven sins. In our midst, these are the present age sins. The, we repeatedly perform them, repeatedly these sins entangle us, repeatedly, uh, and I have I combined them from the book of Colossians. It was read to us, the book of Colossians chapter 3, whereby you are now being asked to read yourselves. You, I have summarized them. Uh, there are so many, but I have just summarized them into seven sins that God is pointing to us as a church. Number one, can you say pride? Maringo. One of the greatest sins that has entangled the generation that we are in is the sin of pride. And uh, I want to give you an example. You can read that in the book of Ezekiel about Lucifer. Lucifer was an angel in heaven. Actually, he was singing, he was reading praises in heaven. The best singer ever. But because of pride, because of the position, because of where Lucifer was, Lucifer wanted to be equal with God. And the Bible says he was brought down literally. He was actually, uh, uh, even, even uh, the heavenly cabinet said, Oh Lord, the earth is now cast. This Lucifer now has gone to the earth. They are now doomed. They are cast because of what will happen. When God bless us, when God rifts us, when God gives us what we have, one of the greatest sin that he is looking and seeing that sin in us is pride. And you all know, pride comes before a fall. You know what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. You know what happened to Herod the Great. You know what happened to Mobutu Seseseko. You know Mobutu Seseseko was, was one of the richest, richest uh, president in Africa. He died in 2013. He was the president of Congo. He was so rich to a point that his children were schooling in France as day scholars. Imagine somebody coming from Congo and every day they board a plane to go all the way to France and then they'll come back in the evening or over the weekend back at home. He was so rich. But remember when he died in 2013, he was buried as a fugitive. In fact, nobody remembered him. It's only uh, that they died the same time with Mother Teresa of Calcutta that he was remembered. Brothers and sisters, I want to point this to us. If we want to please God, Jesus is challenging us to do away with pride. And that's why he came riding on a donkey. He never came with guns. He never came with uh, soldiers. He never came with armors. He just came riding a donkey, a baby donkey, so that he can teach us pro to uh, humble ourselves. Sunday school students sings and says, humble yourselves before the Lord. He will lift you up to him. There. Humble yourselves before the Lord. He will lift you when you humble yourself, in due time, the Lord will uplift you. 
the other issue oh, that is a great sin of our time is envy 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 um, is a combination of uh, being jealous is a combination of unnecessary competitions is a combination of wivu na makoro na you know and those kind of uh, people who are envious actually they are even jealous over their own things unaona mtu kwa sababu ya wivu hata ngombe yake anaipatia tu majani ya kitusi anaita we ngombe unakula kama ngombe i don't know wewe ni ngombe and then ngombe nayo kwa sababu ya hiyo wivu nayo inakupatia maziwa ikiwa na wivu tu but I could see Mazua in a Ukikamua in a Daga in a Kupatia in a Tusi up to say it, say it, stupid, say it. Do you know that? Being envious, being jealous. Uh, some people are just jealous because you are smart. You are just smart. Namzu na Kuchukia, Ati Umeweka, Kanyara Mzuri, and Anza Kukuabia Tahio Nuere, Atania Farasi, Nia Watu Hayati, Wamekufa Hukoma, Huko Huko Sijui Maju, Umeratoa Sijui Nini, Mutu Aki Kuambia, you are a smart Muambia, na Bado, Bado, Bado. Let us remove envy. Let us remove every jealousy. Let us remove uh, Hioki Koro. And this is why Jesus came as a king. So that he now his kingdom actually is not uh, uh, something uh, to be desired. When you look at it, um, it, it, is, it is a kingdom that you cannot desire because he wants us to remove envy of every kind. The other sin is what I'm calling gluttony. Gluttony, gluttony is uh, over eating, all over drinking, all over indulgence. When, uh, as an Anglican, you die because of overeating during our time, you are being buried like a person who had committed suicide. At the same time, if you die because of not eating what other people are eating, then you are being buried like somebody who had committed suicide. Uh, what are you drinking? What are you eating? Is it every meat that you eat? I pose this to you as Christians. Is, is it every ceremony that you engage yourself into? And the Lord is pointing the sin of gratony. Gokoroka, gokorokera divei. Kukura, mashakura, kukua mutu ambaye Ume, umejawa na, na, na hali ya kila kitu niwewe. Everything. That is the gluttony we are talking about. Everything niwewe. What to happen people wana kuwa corrupt. Ili aimaz wealth. Ili yote ya taweza. Ili ya chukue shamba. Zile zote ya taweza. Ili ya nunue magari. Ili yote ya taweza. Ili awe wanawake. Wale wote ya taweza. That's being gluttony. You are not satisfied. Hujaridhika. You are not satisfied with the what the Lord has given you. This is a great sin. And Jesus today is coming to remove the sin of gratony in our lives. The fourth sin, and uh, we know all this, is the sin of greed. It is close to gratony, but greed is deeper. Because greed actually makes people even kill each other. It is because of greed that a husband actually can plan for a wife's assassination. It is because of greed that children can plan for their parents' death. I know of a nod man. Mwenye alifungiwa cho na watoto wake. Na niyo, mimi, uwa nasema, hiyo sijui ujinga ya kununua insurance ati in case ukikufa, Watu wako watalipwa at the elfu ishirini, hiyo, mufikirie sana. Huyo mzee, alikuwa amefungiwa cho na watoto wake kwa sababu ya milioni tano za insurance. Alikuwa ameweka, just in case akikufa, watoto watalipwa milioni tano. Walifungia yeye kwa cho. Thank be to God, because huyo mzee alikaa kwa cho 
siku tatu wakifikiri amekufa walipoenda wakafungua uh, choo waka, wa, wa, wakaifungua wakifikiri sasa wataita watu waseme baba yao wamekufia kwa choo kazae kakaaguka kakasema na nimebadilisha hiyo wheel hiyo mlikuwa uh, milioni tano mnagojea nimeibadilisha greed is making people kill each other at family level greed is making children they cannot obey their parents looking forward when the parents will go so that they can inherit the estate greed is making this country to breed this country is so rich but because of greed of a few people that's why people are undergoing what they are undergoing the other one is lust lust is whereby you want only your bodily desires to be fulfilled and uh, this is a big thing in our time when people are being led by lust may the lord help us so that we can do away with every sin of lust sexual immorality they are being mentioned as the word of the lord was being read to us the other sin the fifth the sixth sin is uh, uh, slothfulness the way we talk the language we use what do we say when we are with our loved uh, uh, ones what kind of words actually when you read proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 the bible says the tongue has a power and uh, those actually who love the tongue they can live or they can die the tongue has a power of death of life or of life how many times have you cursed your children how many times have you cursed yourself how many times have you uh, spoken words to other people and you have killed them completely you have killed them com- completely may the lord god help us so that even that uh, uh, language even that talking even that sin we may do away with it and finally the lord is talking about the sin of wrath bitterness anger and forgiving all those wrath you are here and you are feeling i cannot even greet a fellow christian with my hands because i still carry that bitterness i carry that wrath i am angry because of what they said I am angry because of what they did. Jesus, King of David has come today. And he has come with a lot of humility and he's speaking to you as he's speaking to me. Remove every sin, do away with every sin. Why? Because God cannot and will never bless sin. God cannot and will never ever bless sin. May the Lord God help us. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord encourage us. May the Lord empower us in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Loving Father, we thank you. Thank you because you have reminded us you came not to save us from the physical kingdom but from the spiritual captivity and more so uh, the sins which entangle us. Thank you for this your people wherever you have pointed any individual they have sinned Lord help us to mend ways because when we repent Lord God you are faithful and you forgive us all our sins we ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior amen so much thank you so much we want to now give our tithes and our offerings and we want to invite the praise and worship team to come and make
praises as we give our thanks and offerings. Let us all stand up even as we give, as we praise God this morning. Hakuna mungu kama wewe bwana ah Hakuna mungu kama wewe bwana
our coming here to bring this offering is not to make you rich because we cannot make you rich. The Bible says kettles in a thousand fields belongs unto you. Our giving is just partnership and recognition that who we are and whatever we have all belongs unto you. These people have come uh, with a lot of humility uh, to bring this offering as a sacrifice. And you have just reminded us one of the social scenes is a religion without sacrifice. It's worship without sacrifice. We pray that Lord, any given time when we come before you, you will accept this as a sacrifice. And Lord, you will bless your people accordingly. And that's why, as we dedicate this gift, I ask of your blessings upon each individual, upon each family, upon every business. The Lord, you will be their backbone. Then that have paid their tithes, these four blessings may accompany them. Uplift and remove every curse, rebuke every devour. May they are vines. Lord God, be fruitful, and may they never wither before they came to fruition. And may you open heavenly windows and doors. And ded we dedicate all these giftings to the extension of your kingdom here on earth, even as you will direct the church elders and the finance committee, even to direct these funds and resources. We pray this with a lot of humility through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats briefly. Um, we have one or two things we need to clarify. One is that uh, the, we are being requested to proceed to Mrs. Leah Wakava's uh, home at three so that we can condole with the, the family over the loss of her brother. That is one. Number two, uh, we are doing our strategic plan for the five for a five year period, and this uh, plan is supposed to be ready by the end of April. Now, um, we are inviting all sales, uh, all sales, uh, sales and all departments, kindly prepare your uh, your sub plan in terms of doing your SWOT analysis. Come up with your plan for the next five years. Come up with what you need to do, uh, you want to do for the next five years for yourself and for your group. And let us have those write-ups by latest the 15th of April, kindly. 15th of April, so that we are able to do the strategic plan. Uh, that also uh, leads me to request. In our midst, we could have experts. People who are experts in doing strategic plans. That is the area of training. That is the area of trade. That is what their profession is about. Kindly see me or report or give your, your details to the office. We'll get in touch with you in the course of the week. Grace Wakai, please come forward and take just two and a half minutes to tell us where we are with the 40 years celebration before I hand it over to the vicar. Praise God. Praise God, church. Yes, two and a half minutes. We are in the mood of the celebration of the 40 years in our diocese. Uh, last Sunday, there was a committee which was commissioned by our area dean. And so that is the mass wedding committee. And they are supposed to meet on Tuesday, uh, 26, that is the day after tomorrow, here in church at 5 p.m., about the Tujijenge initiative, the short course, vetting was done yesterday by the, commit, the vetting committee. And uh, those ones who missed yesterday for one reason or the other, and they had uh, registered themselves, kindly meet the panel after the English service at Nazareth Hall next to Secretary's office. The successful applicants shall pay 300 shillings upon communication. 
about the talent show. Registration continues. It is in full gear in uh, the youth chat and also the Sunday school and teens. And so the registration remains uh, uh, in the cell levels and also the chat secretary's office. The rehearsals of the same will be done on Sunday 7th. The rehearsals will be done on Sunday 7th after the English service. So you are all requested uh, to give out your names as we receive them through the cell uh, leaders. The judges will also do some notes and more guidelines will be given before the talent day. And the talent day is on 14th of April, Sunday 14th of April, which will be done seamlessly with the Sabezi cell thanksgiving. There will, all, there will be recognition of winners in various categories, that is in modeling, that fashion show, casual wear, African wear, that is traditional wear, professional wear, and also dinner wear. Thank you so much for those ones who have already registered. Let us continue doing so. We also have the uh, spoken word, the marifeta, poems, mashairi, folk song, own composition, own or original composition, and also singing. Those will be the categories during the 14th day of, of April. Uh, we thank God for the marathon runs. It has taken off very well. Yesterday, there was a very big turnout led by one of our own, that is George Kamau. Thank you so much. And uh, he is informing us that on uh, coming Saturday, uh, there will be two groups. The first group will start at 6 a.m. and the other one will start at 6.30. There are different uh, distances. That is 20 kilometers, 7 kilometers, 7 km, I mean 17 kilometers, and also those ones who will be walking. Uh, it has been announced about the climax of the Lent prayers on that uh, 30th March 2024, at Bishop Manasseh, and I'm not going to repeat that one because it has been well explained. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Grace. We are looking forward to having 12 weddings. Uh, we have two already, the, the, the ones who, which will be celebrated at Cathedral on 23rd August, and after that, we'll have 10 more weddings. Uh, we have a uh, few who have um, a pride, and we are looking forward to that. We will have a very uh, great uh, day uh, when Kemurekea will take you. The torch of faith will come from Muranga in the month of September. And then the Kemure will go around the whole diocese. And uh, all of us Christians, we will go to uh, cathedral to receive Kemurekea we take you. Because our faith has come very far. And then the Kemure will go in every deanery. And uh, October 13, the Kemure Kea we take you will come here and we will hand it over. We are the, uh, uh, we are the uh, least luckiest because we will hand over the Kemure to Ororaisa Deanery in uh, Kisarian Atidikonari. We are happy because even the grand prize for the marathon, this time around, Mwenya Tashinda, Kuna Category Tatu, Ya Vijana, Ya Wara Wako Katikati, Na Ya Waze. Na Mwenya Tashinda, Hiyo Marathon, Anapatiwa a whole million. Million Moja, Na Diocese. So, we really want to encourage our young people. Uh, we'll have a lot of mission. We'll have a lot of evangelism. We are having a big team right now that has come all the way from Rwanda. They are, they are here with their bishop, 12 archdeacons, and uh, we'll be hosting one of them, uh, uh, one of these Sundays. So, we are very happy for the celebrations. Let us have the mood. Let us continue celebrating. When the time comes, uh, all of us, we will go to Kabete, Tonin Kitenge. All of us, a group of more than 10,000 people. You can imagine that beauty with Kitenge, celebrating 40 years. Those will be going for prayers on Saturday. There is a cape. 
mahali mnaenda kununua maji mkitoka kwa gari watu wote wanaona kuna celebration ya kanisa la kianglikana we are facing a very big uh kifao kita kwa tena gidogo what do you call this billboard eh the diocese is, is pressing a very big billboard here at kikuyu uh, to show that we are uh, in the mood of celebration so sasa tuanze kuacha mambo ya dhambi tuachane na mambo sasa ya huzuni sana na tuweze ku celebrate on sunday i'll be praying for the uh, born uh, march uh, can i see if you are here you are born in in, uh, uh, in the month of march and you are or you have a child who was born in the month of march can you stand please what yes tusimame yes thank you thank you uko hapa yes we will be celebrating you on sunday uh, we say it uh, just come uh, the way you are it's not about money but come in the altar to thank god and one of you will give you an opportunity to give a testimony of what god has done for you uh, in, uh, in, in in this life and we are very happy uh, two minutes our sister elizabeth uh, so that now i can give benediction and we enter into the next service Praise be to God once more. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for this opportunity and I want to thank our priest also for giving me this chance. As I said, my name is Elizabeth Jenga and before I proceed, I came to know this church through Mama Abigail Joki. I don't know if if she's in the service today. Mama Abigail, she's at the back. Mama Abigail is a, Mama Abigail just start again jockey thank you so much so I'm a principal of a college and the college name is Modern Link Training College and we are located at Karura Kanyogo Karura Kanyogo is between Wagige and Dedero and Mama Abigail paid me a visit with her daughter and as we were talking I happened to ask her if she goes to church she told me yes who is your priest she went ahead gave me the telephone number and i talked to our priest yesterday and uh, this is what i normally do my testimony is very long i'm a lecturer of aviation my career is in aviation and i'm a, I'm a lecturer in aviation and a principal of the college at the same time so um long time ago i was a lecturer somewhere and uh, the students who, who um, performed well they could not be admitted because of the fees and my heart was very very painful and i told god if you give me a college god i will admit the needy students so that they can pursue their courses and i will admit the orphans for free and so from there the, the school was at uh, jomo kenyatta international airport and from there god gave me a school in nairobi for 15 years and i was not satisfied i told god if you give me a school where i will not pay rent I will continue doing your work and during covid time god managed to build for us a school and it got finished when we were going through covid god was busy building for us an institution an institution also with the with the accommodation facilities because of time that is my short testimony and now from there i have admi- I've been admitting the students from the needy families from the very needy families they come as they are and I engage them into the classes and for the orphans I admit them for free and I trade them through the through the, the courses for one and a half years and offering them also if they come from far I offer them accommodation for free so briefly this is what I told our priest yesterday and uh, I train in international air travel and tourism those are the people who work at the airport and the airline cabin crews those are the people who serve inside the aircrafts i also train in mass communication and journalism and ict so apart from admitting the orphans for free and accommodating the very needy i also engage the students who are going to the universities we bring them on board for mentorship before they go to university as they come and we also offer them ict course because ict goes hard in hand with any other course So after the service today 
My daughter will give you the details of what I have told you. And I will ask our priest if I can give my telephone number. Because I don't know if the papers will be enough. Allow me to give my telephone number, which is 0722. My number is 0722 8235270722823527 so to our mothers in church maybe you don't have a son you have a mother who has a son at home and there is no hope of going to university or to college pass on that message or even the telephone number and we shall connect with that son or with that daughter so that we can remove them from home we train them and we usher them forward. For that father and mother, you finished educating your children. Pass on the message to that other person. For that person, the young, the young families and your children are growing up, uh, let us do the network of doing that communication. God will bless you so much. At the Thank moment, you. from January to date, God has brought me five wonderful orphans and incidentally, they are leading in class at the amazement of God. When we give them the exams, they are leading. They are, they are doing their best. So there is hope to the hopeless. May God bless you so much. And I hope you will carry on the message to the other person. God will bless you so much as he continues blessing us. I Thank have you. heard there is a, the seed Sunday. And I, I request to, to plant my seed right now at the altar. Please do. Okay. Thank you so much. Come, daughter, so that we can pray with you, also with mom, as we pray for your courage. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, baby, pressure. Uh, instead of my phone, Elizabeth, instead of my phone, okay. set it to 92, mm. 1994. So. Yeah, but I want to pray for you first. Mm. Uh, isn't that good news? Yes. It is good news. Um, actually, what Elizabeth is doing is uh, the same as to what we are doing because it's empowering community. Kindly, if you kneel here, uh, we really want to pray for you. Uh, you, you, you called it modern link. Uh, modern link. Let's pray. Ever living God, we sincerely want to thank you for Elizabeth and her entire family. We are so happy for modern link uh, training courage. Uh, it trains teachers. It is trained media people. It is trained crew who will work in, uh, in, 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 uh, with various airways. And we are so happy because this is where the world is. And we even have Christians who are working in that industry. Thank you even for that special calling to assist the very less fortunate people in the society and also the orphans. Lord God, how I pray that you will also partner with Elizabeth and the entire Modern Rink uh, Training College. Thank you for our daughter. Thank you even for the teachers and all the students. We pray for your divine breakthrough. Even as you continue to bring many more students, Lord God, we ask even those who are able to pay, you will add so that they can support those who are not able to pay. To pay. We pray this by faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth. No uh, wakangali. Elizabeth, in any rajoki, wakangali, nakua hapa kikuyu hospital, die ali 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 sema maneno mazuri ya kanisa yetu. Nani vizuri uh, muna invite ata marafiki zenu kwa kanisa. Kwa sababu, si ata hapa tumepata kasid. Na pasta mepata kasi ya mafuta tunashukuru sana. Uh, let's uh, go back to your seat as we wind up. To Simame, to Wombe. And now, to him who is able to do far beyond what we can imagine or comprehend, we commit each and every one of you and your families that the Lord himself may shine his face upon you and scatter every darkness from before your path. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your soul and mind in the knowledge and the love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit. And the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you Christians as we start the Passion Week, the Holy Week. Be with you as you continue 
even to do away with every kind of sin, be with you, even as we enter now into a phase of celebration, as we celebrate 40 years of success, be with you as you do your businesses and all your endeavors from now and forevermore. Dadi mera wira wa mokoma kwa na uhege to me Thank God we have come to the end of that service. We thank God because we've not taken too long as we were fearing and we want to glorify God for that. And we are wishing you a very good and blessed week. Uh, if you are there and you want to join the team that does the projecting here, the projector, the team that does the projecting um, and the streaming, please come forward and see our uh, sister Grace says she's here. Uh, maybe you can start. From where you are, they may not be able to see you. So that's Grace, see her. And then, uh, please take your Easter gift envelopes. They are there with the ashes. Take them so that you may return them on, on Sunday as you come for worship. And now, we will go out as we sing, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, hymn number 84. <laughs>